Now, one more thing. We need to tell the IIS that this subdirectory that we just created has executables in it. So we need to go into the control panel, and if you have your control panel set to the normal style, normal installation type, it would look something like this. We need to go into the performance and maintenance, and then at the bottom of performance and maintenance, we need the administrative tools. If you have an old style control panel set up, you just need to go to administrative tools. Once you're in administrative tools, you'll want to look at the Internet Information Services right there, that icon with a little server and a globe behind it. However you get there, the shortcut is going to look the same to load the IIS uh, controls. Here's our IIS controls, and there's our local computer. You need to find the name of your local computer. If you're just on a desktop or even a laptop like this one, then uh, you most likely only have the one machine showing up here and when you drop down websites you'll only have the default website what we'll do is go select the default website there's our CGI bin and we'll click on the CGI bin that directory and then the properties now remember what we're trying to do is make CGI bin contain executables so this first page, CGI bin properties, the directory tab is the one that we want. And this is where we come down here. It's in the default website. We come down to execute permissions. When you first open this, if you just created CGI bin, this will be set either to none or scripts only. I think it's uh, probably scripts only. We need to make it scripts and executables. Now when you do that, you're making a very definite choice that this directory will have executables in it and they will be able to to be run. Again, I said at the beginning of, of this uh, series of videos in, in this particular area about uh, web programming and C programming on the web is that you most likely do not want to do this to a machine that is connected to the internet because you are going to be putting things out here that could very, very well and most likely be security risks because you're not going to be coding programs that are going to protect themselves. All right, so keep that in mind as you change this. When you set this scripts and executables, you are opening some somewhat a doorway for hackers to try to execute things on your server, just so you know. So then we click on OK, and now this CGI bin is set to contain executables. I don't need this uh, panel for anything else, so I can close it. And I don't need the administrative tools for anything else right now, so I'll close that as well. So this is what we did machines web server process and the CGI bin and we set the properties to allow scripts and executables. If you do not have XP Pro on your system you do have some other options available to you but going through all of that is really outside the scope of what we're trying to do here with the C programming videos. But to get caught up to us you can go load Apache from apache.org and read through some of their documentation and you're looking for their web server their HTTPD web server and it's called Apache 2 these days so you want to download and install Apache 2 and then see where it gets installed and you'll have to read some of the documentation on it on how to set up a CGI bin and the the very similar tasks to what we just did some of that uh, is done with text files though and you set a CGI bin and then you can do the programming just like we're going to continue to do in the videos. So you can still watch the videos and uh, try the programming and see how it see how it works for you. You just would not be able to put it on your server, on your machine there. Or you can use a web server hosting company that provides you with CGI that gives you the access to you, to run programs that utilize the Common Gateway interface. If you already have a CGI bin on your existing website that, that you have out there in the world, well, you, you're probably already all set. The hosting providers that give you a CGI bin have already set things up in their host uh, and on their server to allow executables to be put in there, and they have you segmented somewhat from their other customers, hopefully, if they're any good, and uh, your uh, programs that might mess up will not uh, be any, any more security uh, problem for anybody else. It might be a security issue for you and your content that's out there. So again, don't go playing around with C programming on the net, on the open web, uh, next to things that you hold near and dear, all right? Because uh, you are in a sandbox and you are learning, so you want to be careful about that.
Okay, so that's uh, we're going to go on with XP Pro, and I'm going to show you how to start to write some code, uh, C code, that will interact with the web.